John Anderson and Alex Braski here. Bills win 14 to 13. Uh, Alex, you had a chance to talk to Josh Allen and uh, Coach McDermott. Uh, what were some of the things you asked him? I asked Coach McDermott and Josh Allen about the emergence of Robert Foster uh, over the last five weeks. I mean, he's put together five, uh, well, four out of the last five games, he's put together good games, almost 500 yards during that span. So I asked both of them about his emergence in the offense. Uh, Robert Foster, he's had almost 500 yards in the last uh, five games. What's led to the uptick in his production over that over, over the course of that span? Yeah, I just I just believe he's he's starting to get it. Um, you know, like I mentioned, uh, short, I think it was the Jets game, the first Jets game, where he came back and um, you know we let him go and he came back and maybe it was a wake up call. You know that he started understanding what it takes to play in this league and and the preparation you've got to put in to earn the right to a be on the team but also uh, be productive for us. And uh, it's also great great wake-up call for the other young players, right? When a, when a guy comes in, one of their buddies, and, and goes through that type of um, transformation, if you will, uh, that he's growing, and they can see that, well, that's that's what happens when you do things the right way. Well, one, it's, it's how hard Robert works. Um, in practice, he's always on the top of the speed charts. You know, he's extremely competitive, you know, obviously being an undrafted uh, rookie free agent. He's got a lot to prove, and uh, the last four weeks have uh, kind of shown what he's capable of. I know that um, you know, early on in the year, it, he wasn't making you know these types of plays, but he's put his head down. He's went to work. Um, and, I mean, one, he's a great story. Two, he's, I, I love the kid. He, he works his tail off. He gives me everything he's got in practice, and then in the games. I talked to Deontay Thompson. He called Josh Allen an exceptional leader in the locker room, um, and that's kind of the theme of my column for Monday's Daily News about what Josh Allen is bringing to this team now outside of what he does on the field. I also talked to Isaiah McKenzie. Now here's a guy who was injured. Carted came, off the field. And came back, and here's what he had to say about that. What was your motivation to come back in this game? You know, these, the guys. Like, like, I feel like each and every day, each and every week, I play with these guys, like I get closer and closer to them. Even though I barely even know them because I was in Denver for a while. As I, as I keep, you know, keep playing with him, keep practicing with him, I get closer and closer to him. And that's, it's like family to me. So to me, for me to go back out there, it shows that I care. I want to be here. And I want to, you know, I want to make plays to help us win games. You know? uh, yeah, I mean, from what I know, he's, he's fairly healthy. I'm sure he's a little bit banged up. But uh, yeah, you don't see that every day where a guy goes off in the car. I want to be brought back. Um, so whatever, whatever our docs did with him and he was able to do, um, I'll get some of that. I get, and also getting back to the theme with Josh Allen. This guy hasn't been with the team that long, but listen to what he says about Josh Allen. So if any of you question his leadership, listen to this. Even though he's young, he's powerful. You know, he's a quarterback. You know, he's our leader on the team. He's a leader for these for our receivers, and we included. It's like he does. Even though he's young, he's you know he's still learning. But at the same time, he's still encouraging us. He's still like. I, it's, it's hard to describe. You know, he's tough. He's like whatever he says, we do. Even though he's young, like we still got to listen to him. He's our quarterback, and that's what we're gonna keep doing. Like we, you know, we love Josh. I love Josh. Alex, you also talked to Coach McDermott about the defense. What was going on there? Obviously, defense, big part of today's win. I mean, holding them to 13 points. Although Prater uh, left four points on the board, the uh, the Lions kicker with the missed field goal and the missed PAT. But the defense really stepped up, and Josh Allen and Coach McDermott both said it was a real team win today. Here's what they had to say about the defense. Yeah, I thought Coach Ray from the defensive staff and the players executed extremely well. Uh, Tremaine did a great job. Uh, we were using Lorenzo a little bit in some different different positions um, than what he's played this year up to this point. Um, to be able to do that, uh, I thought he did a phenomenal job there. And, um, you know, I thought we continued to apply pressure to them and got the ball out fast. We tackled well, we tackled better in the second half than we did in the first. Third downs, uh, we had, a, I think it was the one, the second touchdown drive that they had. It was two third downs in particular where they had one-on-one -on -one, uh, jump balls, basically. And, Gave the quarterback too much time, then we make the play. So. so that's it. Victory for the Bills. Um, keep screwing up their uh, higher draft picks. Yep. Next week at New England, then they finish, and that's on the 23rd. And then um, back here for the pretty much close to New Year's Eve special against the Dolphins. Yep. Tickets are going quick. <laughs> so we will be back again for those games. So for Alex Braski, I'm John Anderson for the Batavia Daily News.